Hello everybody, welcome back to more Exit the Gungeon Gloctopus Streaks, I guess. Uh, but this time we are actually on a streak, I guess. Uh, we beat the Gloctopus in the last episode after a weird, weird scenario with clone not working, but not working. I don't know, man. It, we're just, tis what tis. It's, it's done. It was a, a nice, easy win the second time we fought him. Uh, but, you know, we're probably not going to pick up Clone again for a little while. Just getting that boom right out the gate. Uh, not only because I just don't have time today, but because, quite frankly, it's... I feel like it kind of takes the spirit out of Exit. I like it, you know, you know it's saying a lot when I say... I, I like it more in Enter the Gungeon, <laughs> you know? Like, and I... Uh, I feel like it, it changes things up more, you know? Your, your run just becomes take the random gun, point, and shoot in, in exit, which is fine and fun. But when you've done it a bunch, I'll, pr I'll probably be uh, just not picking it up for at least a little while. I'm sure we'll do another clone run at some point, but we got stuff to unlock. I want to do it in a, a, a normal, fun way that is, you know, a little more, a little more challenging, I guess. Than, that, than just using clone and getting a lot of credits and getting easy peasy wins there. That being said, uh, I kind of, if, if it worked how I thought it did and, you know, you kind of just like, when you die, you come back uh, in the Gloctopus fight or something. I liked that. I liked that. I think that that would be a totally acceptable item that I would totally use, but... Clone's one of those items that you, you say anything remotely negative about it and people are just like, no, don't change clone, it's my favorite item. I don't know, it's it's not my favorite item at all. It's basically like, for, for Enter the Gungeon, it's basically like, uh, mod the Gungeon, but not in a fun way, you know? I Like, I would rather just play mod the Gungeon than, and, and give myself specific interesting things than, uh, than do a clone run and enter, personally. Personally, not to mention the fact that I just lose, in I lose interest in a game after the normal loop, you know? I'm just like, eh, all right, time to go on autopilot. I am loving our googly eyes we got for killing the, the Gloctopus as well. Absolutely loving it. Whip, whip, whip. So one thing though, we are playing as the hunter who, I, I would say, ooh. That's a fun, that's a fun gun to get as a Carl gun, as a static Carl gun. I don't think there's anything up here that's that worth it. Nah. But we could have some fun with the Gunslinger's Ashes. That mixed with any kind of uh, multi-bulleting is real neat. I wouldn't mind a static Casey too. That, that my friends, that would be a beaut. Freeze Ray is pretty booty for uh, for bosses, so I'll probably be using it like mad here. Normally, the uh, the static guns I save for bosses, but I think this will be an exact opposite kind of scenario where I think they're pretty pretty darn bad against bosses. But tis what tis. Bop 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 bop. Send them up. I do love having infinite ammo in the eye of the beholster, so you can just spam the ads. Oh, one from the bottom. Just going to assume, yep, just going to assume you're going to die there. Bullet is also very, very good. Just like, we're getting some absolutely fantastic guns really early here. You know what? Get frozen. Bop. 186. Not too shabby. We could definitely use the Gunslinger Ashes, uh, Gunslinger's Ashes here, and just switch back, or uh, by that I mean fill up the ammo. <laughs> you know, completely different thing. Whoa, boy! Combined rifle is definitely a, a switch back territory, and that time I did mean to say that. You know what? We got blanks. We should use them. Whoop. Itty bitty movements here. Bullet bore seems actually alright in this game for bosses. 
In enter, drink a cup of water. Drink a whole entire cup of water. Oh, I almost missed it. I thought I pressed the E. Oh boy, that was sketch. Oh boy, that was sketch. Uh, in in enter, I consider it to be pretty bad against bosses. It can be good in weird scenarios for room clear and taking down larger non-boss enemies. But other than that, like, I find it kind of fine. Can we not tentacle from oh, tentacle off-screen enemies? I would imagine we can't based off of what it sort of looked like there. Combo up. So we cannot save any items due to the fact that we have the, uh, the pupper. The pupper is great and a good boy and everything, but at the same time, that boy do definitely uh, just take all your items immediately. Does not let you save up for later or wait until a, a better time. Like, I would go as far as to say it's it's only a slight upgrade that it picks things up for you. Only a slight upgrade, even if it even is an upgrade at all. I think that that's probably one of the reasons why the, the hunter of all the base characters in the past, I don't know if it's changed at this point, has the lowest uh, achievement unlock rate for victories. Sure, we'll definitely, we'll do it. Well, I, as much as I don't think it's one of the greatest greatest ones for uh, unlocks, I'm not going to not do it. I am not going to not do it. Oh my god, it got stuck there. Basically just throwing it right down the middle because, hey, you know, I guess, I guess we're technically trying to get to the middle, huh? If we were to be trying to go anywhere, not that any, we really have much of a say in it. That being said, we're... I hate it. It just, it just is not a good value. <laughs> it's just not a good value. One of these days, we'll probably just stop doing it. 50-ish bucks, like about, about 50 bucks for like a 50-ish percent chance to get nothing. To get nothing is really bad. And a grand prize is just a red chest, not even a black chest. I don't know, man. For something that you have almost no control over, I feel like I'm probably uh, probably gonna pass on that. I want to get a static version of this so bad. I want a static version of the untitled gun. Okay, I oh eye patch. Did I see that? Also heavy bullets. You know what? Fine. What could possibly go wrong? Commando could have been fun to get to. We can see what this stuff is better now. Just seems like it's general picnic supplies. Yeah, heavy bullets can be very bad. It can be. And I would go as far as to say right now it's uh it's being bad. But I think it actually it could work pretty well with Gunslinger's Ashes, because the things uh stay on the screen longer before they eventually hit the boss, which means they will or the boss or the enemy or whatever, you know. They'll shoot out more of their own bullets before inevitably making it to the boss or enemy or whatever. So that's pretty nice. I feel like with the um, the addition of ooh, the static guns, heavy bullets is just like, it's it's a bit better. It's, it's a little bit better. Just a little bit better. It also does not have the crazy knockback that it has in Enter. Drink water. Oh, no. Okay, what is it? Beehive. Ooh. I will happily switch for beehive. Will switch for beehive. I will happily stay for prototype railgun. Yeah, well, actually, I guess we're going to switch because it wanted us to. Screecher's not terrible in Enter. Hammer's not terrible. Same sound effect. And we're golden. 
Nice. I feel like that's a pretty good sign for the day. Not whiffing it on... Eh. Physical damage immunity. Bleh. Can't say that I'll really utilize that. I think that's a good sign for the day. Beating that boss without taking the, taking a hit. Not that it's particularly, you know, a ridiculous boss or anything, but it's definitely one of the uh, the first bosses that can give me troubles. Oh no, the heavy bullets moving so slow. It is getting pretty tough to line my shots up. Got to press down all these boutons. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I think that this room layout is a big reason why. Oh boy. Big reason why the hunter has one of the uh, lower win rates. It's just the speed at which the buttons get unpressed. It doesn't look like it's a lot. It does not look like it's a lot. But it is. It it, it adds up. Because like, you have to move around the whole dang room while dodging all the shots. But hey, Dunzo. Good enough for me. Super Space Turtle! It's so expensive! It's probably really good. Alright. Bouncy Heavy Bullets are good because you are more prone to miss with Heavy Bullets, so having the ability to potentially have it bounce off the wall is going to be really handy. Uh, we weren't going to get to 420, so... Or 440. We're not going to get to either. <laughs> silly. This is silly. Wait until they are homing? Okay. What do you got for me? Gilded bullets. Well, do we get a damage down? Hold on. Do we get a damage down if we use the steel? I would not be shocked if it is spaghetti coated in that way. I would not even be a little shocked. Oh, God, we were standing on poison. We were standing on poison. We lost everything. Wait a minute. Was there a patch? Did, was there a patch that actually fixed this? Black hole gun non garbage now? <gasps> oh, baby! Dragon Carl. Dragon Carl. I wouldn't. I would like the uh, ability to steal baked into the game. I think that'd be would be nice. Yep. If they, ooh, if the frozen ones go into the pit, I think we just get, we lose it. All right. You know, the screen's going to get really messy here. But it's such a rough room, angry bullets, it's such a rough room that I think it's worth it. Until, yeah, I was going to say, until we see a, a, a solid enough primary gun, blessed gun. All right. What? This is oh, that is some that's some dangerous maneuvering right there. Okay. Oh, what a visual nightmare we've created! I don't even know, I have no idea where I am. Okay, I'm up to, to, near the top there. All right. All right. No oh, god. A dumb hit. A dumb hit indeed. All right. So let's um, let's get this prepped. Oh no. I cannot see. I've created a massive problem for myself. Where am I? Did I get hit there? I definitely got hit there. Great. Uh, this background is um much more 
much tougher to uh, visually parse everything on than any of the other ones. Blanket. Blanket. I feel like you just save your blanks for the second phase on that one. All right. It was bad, but hey, you know, it's all good. Heart synthesizer. Play well, get hearts. Uh, I wonder if it translates into combo if you're at full HP. Ah, Honda. Oh, that's right. Yeah, this it really is the who's who of um, tough layouts. The Hunter's Path. You can really see pretty easily how it's um, it's one of the tougher ones to do for the base four. These ones where you have to do a lot of vertical traversing, it's uh, it's tough. It's tough. And villain. I'll do it. Oh. Homing and villain. I do love that those uh, gunslinger ashes, <laughs> the little guys that we had uh, carried up with us, they stayed useful for a long time. Yari. I don't think we'll get enough money for it. Nor do I think we bother. As good as it is. I don't know if it's going to work out for us money-wise to go for it. What are we at? We're, eh, you know what? We could get it. If we can afford it, I'll get it. I'll tell you that much. If we can afford it, I will go for it. Good. Is, is Ghost Bullets in this? I don't think... I can't remember. I can't remember if Ghost Bullets made it in this. I genuinely can't remember. I don't think so. I, I can't. I genuinely can't remember. I know Heavy Bullets is in, Bouncy Bullets is in, Scatter Shot is in, uh, Fat Bullets, Plus One Bullets, Omega Bullets, and uh, uh, Alpha Bullets, etc., etc. All of those are in, Frost Bullets. Poison, irradiated lead, hot lead, all of them. All of those modifiers are definitely in. Rocket powered bullets might be in? I don't remember. I would like those. If we could find them, I'd like them. Even though it kind of goes against the fact where I was saying, oh, it's kind of nice to have the slow bullets with this. Because, well, one, we're almost out of ammo with it, so, you know. Tis with tis there. Uh, two. It does give us a damage up in addition to faster bullets. Kind of evens things out. And the majority of the guns we're going to be using this run are probably not going to be Gunslinger's Ashes. <laughs> Unless we want to spend a lot on ammo. Which we might. Laser rifle's okay. Mark my words. It's okay. It fires nice. I mean, it fires in a different way than it does in... Yeah, it's... Compressed air tank, though. Compressed air tank, though. Oh. Good for high HP targets. Which there are currently not even that many of. Oh. That was some maneuvering. Oh, my God. Switch the AK, sure. Sure, 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 sure. You better, better leave it. Well, we got... Oh, okay. Yep. V visual nightmare that we've created, of course, but... Boy, it's strong. Undeniable. All right. What do we have? So do we have do we have six shots or do we have Oh boy Four. We had four. Deckard is so good, but definitely a little bit harder to uh, hit with for this enemy. Due to it needing weird precision 
and we have a very slow gun. Okay, what am I doing? Zorgun's good. Angry bullets, sure. Please, thank you. Yeah, boy, satisfaction. Satisfaction. I will happily take an extra blank as well. Full HP, heart synthesizer. You got nothing. Since, I, since we were moving to the final floor there, I, I'm just going to say nah. Boop, 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 boop. All right, all right. Should I try and go negative? I mean, what, what's the worst that could happen? We get a massive, massive damage penalty. That's the worst that could happen. And hey, if we find that out, it'd be funny. Pretty good at um oh that was it. Pretty good at polymorphing is what I was gonna say. Oh my god, there's a chance. There's a chance. Okay, we might be able to do it with the weird stealing mechanic that we've found out though it will put us in the uh, in the negative so I'm really really hoping spaghetti code does not make us gain negative attack damage due to gilded bullets that would make me a, a sad sad boy smash that like Boothin Real easy to do. Real easy to do. All you gotta do is tab back in uh, and press a button. Or scroll down and hit a button. Or maybe not even scroll down and hit a button. It's so darn easy. And it helps with search rankings. It really does. Pe people say that and then you hear that and you're like, oh. Those are words I hear a lot and have no meaning. But listen to it and uh, assign meaning to the words that I'm saying. Hit the like button. It, it helps. If you like this video. If you like this video and you like me, it actually does, it does help. It helps with search rankings. So I would appreciate that greatly. Beep bop. Oh! Explosive rounds are so good. Explosive rounds are so good. Okay. Shotgun full of hate. Also so good. Glad to have it for now. That would have been our second damage via poison here today, which would have been rough. But yeah, explosive rounds are great. I think that those alone will uh, maybe seal the deal on the Glocktopus if we get there with full HP. Chaos Amulet. Uh, getting it this late, I care a little bit less because I don't think we get an extra blank. I don't think we get an extra blank for the Glocktopus fight as a result. I don't think so. I think we, I think we get the leftovers of the Dragon fight. Icebreaker. Still have not figured out how good it is in in Exit. Seems decent. Where am I? Seems decent. We'll find out. Where is everyone? Oh, it's just you. I was expecting, I thought more were going to show up still, but no, it was literally waiting on that one blob. That is hilarious. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, stop! 
This is dangerous. This is dangerous. Oh my god. Ladies and gentlemen. I'm so proud of that. I'm so proud of that indeed. No! We didn't do it in time. Oh my god. It goes so much faster now. They fixed it. I mean... Alright. I think there was a patch. I think, I think. I could could be wrong. Could be wrong. Dragon fire, use it against the dragon. But it looked like it it went down so fast by comparison. I think that they fixed it. Ah. Maybe they fixed the clone problem too though. Not sure. Also not even sure if they made a change. Come on, boy. Speed it up. There we go. Glad to get blessed. Oh, yes. Coin, cr coin crown. Coin crown at this moment. The thing I desire. That was bad, but didn't punish us. Okay. Uh, we got meat bun. So obviously part of me wants to, uh, you know, blank like crazy. Ice bomb, cool. Void marshal's actually pretty darn good. God, I wish we could still hit the boss back there. Magnum is really weirdly good. I can't the thing input buffering eating after the roll on this fight is crazy. It's so weird. It's so weird. And look, we got hit. We lose our a uh, really good junkin now. We could have had an amazing junkin if it wasn't for that. It's weird because it's only during this fight that I that I can feel it. I don't know if it happens the whole game, but it's only because, like, you notice it here because the the fight is so um, chaotic. Like, maybe it's the kind of thing where I'd notice on the second phase of the Glocktopus as well. Irrelevant on the first phase of the Glocktopus because, well, because that's wild. Woof. All right. Well, we're going in with full HP. I'm glad we didn't spend all of the Dragon Fire. That helps. I would say our chances of victory are oh, entirely dependent on if I, how, how long it takes for me to get used to the jet ski. That's that's really it. If we do really well on the first phase, we can uh, we can Mr. Magoo the second. We can be fine. Uh, but if we can't get this first phase down, then we are toast, my ghost. All right. When do we get to shoot him? Oh, yes. What? Seems faster than it was before. Am I wrong? I think I'm wrong. Oh boy. Okay, explosive shots. Putting in big work here. I just couldn't. I couldn't do that one. What the hell? Not good. 
Not good. This fight needs to be over. That is a really good phase to blank. Cause I can't believe these bullets actually do damage. They really, <laughs> they really get you, man. They really do. All right. Um. 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 Maybe. Maybe we got one blank. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. <laughs> Nine hits plus whatever we get out of the green guan stone. Okay. Ah. I wanted to cheese that. Okay. Yeah. I'm glad that they make that one not too tough, that phase, because it is it would just be so frustrating otherwise. Speaking of frustrating. Okay. Looking good. Corner seemed really, really safe there. Guanstones seem... Oh, scattershot. Golden. Guanstones seem really good for this fight, actually. Did you see how they, uh, they helped me there? Oops. Bad. Okay. Okay, homing bullets, sure. I don't know how many shots I'm missing because I can't possibly look. What? 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 This gun's not firing. There we go. Kill him with the tentacle. Poetic justice? Nah, fine. I'll just kill him with an op. God dang, that fight is crazy. Well, now we actually get to see the real ending for it. So that's nice. And apparently the last one did count, so that's good. He just told me on the achievement. We're two out of five. Two out of five. Galoctopus streaks continue. So yeah, then it just, uh, just takes you here, huh? Yep, that do be it. That do be it. I kind of wish that there was like a different little, I, I wish there was maybe like a jet ski ending, visual. I don't know. I just think that that would make, I don't know, make it a little, a little more satisfying to go for that ending. Just like, even if it was just like a little uh, end screen art of you on the jet ski. I think that'd be nice. Feels kind of weird to come back, like, it makes it feel like, why the hell is your character even going over there then? You know? That's what it feels like. But, we did it. The fight's crazy. You need, like, a lot to do it well. The jet ski phase, I, feels unbelievably weird and foreign to me still. It's cool. Thematically, it is cool. But, boy, it is... They shake up the mechanics on you in in the, the one of the hardest fights in the or no the hardest fight in Gungeon history and they shake up the mechanics on you. The second fight or the second phase is tough, very tough, but it feels more fair. It feels more fair for sure. There's parts in the first phase where like maybe they're totally doable and logical and fair, but it's just hard to tell because it's just I don't know how to use that thing, man. I just don't know how to use it. But alas, I think we are done here. 
Uh, let me see. What do we have for achievements left? I want to know. I want to know what I got. We got seven achievements. So, Master the Glocktopus. We're two out of five on that. Buy all hats. I, you know, I don't know why we don't have it. But, let's see. Sated Daisuke's Craving. Uh, Old Red, Flint, and Gupton, and Daisuke's Quests, which are literally just, um, amount of time. Uh, it, it, it'll just happen in time. There's nothing I can do to force it to to go quicker or nothing. It's nothing skill based. Literally the only thing here that is not just um, a matter of time is I need to f get five Glocktopus kills. So we need three more Glocktopus kills to get the uh, the hardest achievement in the game, gu guaranteed. Everything else is every every other thing is just um, you need to play the game long enough and talk to the NPCs basically. So that's that. That is going to do it for today. Imagine that the unicorn song is playing because they changed it. I, oh, it hurts. It hurts. That's going to do it. Thank you for watching. Greatly appreciate any and all support you wish to leave on this series up to this point. Hit the like button to help out with the whole search results, rankings, and recommends everything. Thank you, thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye.